Welcome! In this video we will design an actual PCB for an Arduino in KiCad. We will use the same components and same schematic as in the previous videos. Compared to designing for a strip board, the difference with designing for a PCB is that we have more freedom in arranging our components as we will see. For this video we assume we have created our schematic, we assigned footprints to our symbols in the schematic and we produced a netlist. We are about to open the PCB layout editor, so let's do that. The first thing we are going to do is to set up the tracks. We open the board setup, go to design rules and add a track of 1.27 mm, half of the pitch of most components. We do this to make sure that the track and the space between the tracks is as big as possible, to make etching or milling as easy as possible. In this case it means that the track and the space between the tracks is the same width. We create a via with the width of the track, 1.27 mm with a drill hole of 1 mm. We then press OK. We set the track and via to the ones we've just defined. We can now load the netlist and place the components. For the strip board we first define the edges of the strip board, but since we are designing our own PCB we can do this later after we've placed all the components. Let's place the Atmega in the middle with a notch on top. Let's now place the crystal close to the pins of the Atmega. Let's place the capacitors in a way that is convenient for us. Let's also place the LED and resistor in a way that is convenient for us. We can now add tracks to connect the components, so let's select the back copper layer, the tracks button and add tracks between the components.
we can now easily connect the two ground pins. We can add a power and ground via as we did previously. As a final step, we can draw the edges of our PCB. This completes the design of our layout for a simple Arduino on a PCB.